plant junkies. I'm really glad you made it back. These are some pumpkins I grew, and today we're going to cook them two different ways. We're going to cook the first one whole, and to cook it whole, you have to stab it with this knife as hard as you can. Otherwise, it might blow up. My mother blew up an acorn squash in the microwave one time, and my friend Aaron blew up a pumpkin in the oven. My friend Donna blew up a spaghetti squash. I could brag and tell you that I've never blown up any squash, but then karma might come kick my butt, so I'm not going to say that. First, let's stab that pumpkin. You really have to mean it. Roll it over, stab it again. If it doesn't stab deeply enough, really hammer it down in there. You don't want your squash to blow up. Roll it over, stab it again. In it goes. We're going to cook our second pumpkin by cutting it in half, scraping the seeds and the pumpkin gunk out, and cooking it in a casserole dish. So here we have the half pumpkins in the baking dish with half an inch of water. It took a while because I had to scrape that brown gunk off the sides. Since you're not making a video, you won't have to do that part. Then I had to take the knife and jab those jokers. Here they are, hot from the oven. We can tell they're done when the pumpkin meat is soft enough to scoop out with a spoon. These took about 45 minutes at 325, but there isn't a set amount of time to cook a pumpkin because ovens vary and so do the densities of the pumpkins. We're back. I let them cool off for a long time because we're going to learn from Donna's mistake. She didn't poke her holes thoroughly enough and when she cut the hot squash open, boiling squash went everywhere. It even got under the counters. Since I don't want boiling squash all over me and because we're not serving this hot, I let these cool off for a really long time just in case I didn't poke the holes thoroughly enough. When it was raw, it was a lot harder to cut than this cooked one, but I'm wondering if it's easier to clean when it's raw or after it's cooked. The whole cooked pumpkin turned out to be a little stringy to scrape with a spoon, but it seems easily enough separated with a knife. Time to scoop out the pumpkins. We'll scrape out the cooked pumpkin meat and freeze it in one cup quantities because one cup of cooked pumpkin can be substituted for one cup of canned pumpkin in your recipes. If you hop over to the blog, you'll find recipes for pumpkin spice cookies, pumpkin spice cake, and pumpkin spice pancakes. Leave your questions below and I'll leave answers.